Hello all, I'd like to talk about the new subject which is the factor the greatest common factor from a polynomial. Let's start with this simple example. What is needed here is to factor the greatest common from 8x plus 16. So here we have a polynomial with two items. The first is the 8x and the second one is the 16. First of all, we take each term separately and factoring the term. So for 8x, which is the first term, first we factor the coefficient of x which is 8 so 8 is an even number so it is divided by 2 so the result is 4 and 4 is divided by 2 the result is 2 and 2 is divided by 2 so the result is 2 so the factor of the 8 is simply 2 times 2 times 2 if you try to multiply the factors you will get the original number and regarding the x it is simply the factor of itself regarding the second term which is the constant number which is 16 again we factor the 16 into its prime so 16 is an even number so it can be divided by 2, so the result is 8, and 8 can be divided by 2, so the result is 4, and 4 is divided by 2, the result is 2, and 2 is divided by 2, and the result is 1. So this is the first step before starting the factoring, which is the factoring of the two terms separately. Now. We search in these two lists for the common factors. So if you see here we have a common factor which is 2. It is common in the two lists. And again we have another 2 which is common in the two lists. And the third 2 also a common in the two lists. Regarding the x, there is no x in the second list. And regarding for the rest 2 below, there is no 2 in the above factors. So here we determine the shared factors. So we bring them down. So the common factors are 2 and 2 and 2. So in order to compute for the greatest common factor simply we multiply the three factors so 2 times 2 times 2 it's it's 8 so 8 is simply is the greatest common factor for the two terms now we start with the factoring so this is the original statement so we bring the greatest common factor outside so it will be multiplied by the remaining from 8x will be 8 the sign is positive and the remaining from 16 is 2 so this is the way how to factor by bringing the greatest common factor outside we can check for the correctness of our steps this is our factoring result so simply in the multiplication we have what's called distributive property so we distribute the 8 for both x and 2 by multiplication so 8 times x plus 2 will be 8 times x. The sign inside the parentheses is positive. And 
8 multiplied by 2. So we 8 multiplied by x is 8x and 8 by 2 is 16. See that we we get the the same the same polynomial. So this is how to check for the correctness of our steps. Let's have another example. Factor the greatest common factor from 4y squared plus 8y minus 4. So what we have here, we have here a quadratic polynomial with three terms. The first one is 4y squared. The second is 8y and the third one is minus 4. So the same steps, we start with factoring the first term. First, we factor the coefficient of y squared, which is 4. And 4 is factored to 2 by 2. And regarding y squared, it is y multiplied by y. The same for the second term, which is 8y. Regarding the 8, the factors of 8 is simply 2 by 2 by 2 and y is alone. Regarding the third terms, with which is, which is the constant 4, the factor of the 4 is 2 by 2. So by this, we have three lists. Now we are trying to find the shared factors in the three lists. So first we have this two, and we have another two, and that's all. Regarding the y, y is shared in two lists, not in all the three lists. So the common factors are simply the two and two. In order to compute for the greatest common factor, we multiply the two factors. So 2 by 2 is equal to 4. So this is our greatest common factor, GCF. Now we start the factoring. This is the original statement, the original polynomial. So we bring the greatest common factor outside. So it will be multiplied by the remaining from 4y squared is y squared. The remaining from 8y is 2y. And the remaining from minus 4 is minus 1. So this is the steps how to factor by the greatest common factor. Simply we can check for our solution. We distribute the multiplication between the 4 and the parentheses. So 4 multiplied by y squared, the sign is plus. 4 multiplied by 2y, the sign is minus. And 4 multiplied by 1. So we get 4y squared plus 8y minus 4. See that we get the same statement same polynomial so our steps are completely correct let's talk about this last example factor the greatest common factor from 6m multiplied by m minus 5 minus 7m minus 5 so here we have two terms the first one is the 6m multiplied by m minus 5 we start the factoring process. So regarding the coefficient, which is 6, its factors is simply 2 and 3. m is alone and m minus 5 is alone. We factor the second term, 7 multiplied by m minus 5. So 
the factor of 7 is simply 7 and the factor of m minus 5 is m minus 5. So by this we have two lists. We find for the shared factors in the two lists see that the 2 is not shared, the 3 is not shared, m alone is not shared, the 7 is not shared, the only shared factor is the m now minus 5. So here we have one factor which is m minus 5. So because we have one common factor so it is the greatest common factor. Now we start the factoring process. So this is the original polynomial. This is the greatest common factor that we have found. So it is multiplied by the remaining from 6m multiplied by m minus 5 is 6m. And the remaining from 7 multiplied by m minus 5 is minus 7. So these are the factors of the polynomial by the greatest common factor. See that the 6m is in the second factor and in the main statement it is in the first term. So we can commutate. So m minus 5 multiplied by 6m minus 7, it is same as 6m minus 7 multiplied by m minus 5. Here we use the commutative property for the multiplication. Now we make the multiplication between these two factors. First we start with the first term in the first factor, which is 6m. We multiply it by m minus 5. The sign is minus, and the second term in the, in the first factor is 7, multiplied by m minus 5. See that we, we get the same result, same as the original polynomial. So our steps are completely correct. That's all about the factoring with the greatest common factor. Thanks a lot for you. Goodbye.